Leaves, water, and the sun were hot topics at a Bradenton school today as North America's largest tree research fundraiser rolled into town. SNN's Christine McClarty has a closer look. It's the 2015 Still Tour to Trees. He talked a lot about trees and how important they are. 85 bicyclists from around the world are on a six-day journey from Orlando to Fort Lauderdale, planting trees, fundraising for research, and educating children. It was actually quite funny. Volunteer and cyclist Warren Holston, also known as Professor Picklethorn, says it's important to educate the younger generations about trees. They're so engaged when we start talking about trees and there's a point where you can see the light bulb light up and, and they get it. The students were given books like this one called Why Would Anyone Cut Down a Tree? In hopes that moving forward they'll look at trees like the one right behind me with more perspective. St. Stephen's Episcopal School third graders Lucy and Grady say they have a newfound appreciation for trees. You need the sun source and you need the carbon dioxide and you need the water. Food and lots of art human resources. Tree Fund Development Specialist Mary DeClaro says the 560 mile bike ride across the state is to educate adults as well. Learning more about the trees that surround them everywhere. People tend to take their trees for granted. So far they have raised $324,000 to go towards caring for urban trees and research. CEO of the Tree Fund, Jay Eric Smith, says the money goes towards 11 grants and scholarships. Soil, biomechanics, some other areas. Together, the Tree Fund, Still Tour to Trees, and Professor Picklethorn are making a lasting impact on our children, trees, and planet. Is it trees Reporting in Sarasota, Christine McClarty, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. The six-day, 560-mile bike ride continues to Punta Gorda tomorrow and concludes in Fort Lauderdale on Saturday.